Yo, 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 people, what is going on? This is a Smart and Killer. Welcome back to the episode of Yo'd Happy Wheels. I'm feeling a little bit better after drinking um, a glass of the ye old Canada Dry Ginger Ale. I'm still not 100%, but I think I'm going to get an. Uh, I think I'm going to get another uh, cup after this. Let's see. So I've done that one, done that one, done that. Ooh, I don't think I've done that. Why is it so loud? Holy schnikensteins. Oh, maybe because I opened up. Hush droid, because I opened up another stupid page. I hate the volume control on Windows. Stop it. Let's see. Rooftop obstacle court. Oh, this looks nice. This is nice and easy. This is... Wait, what am I doing? Wait. Okay, wait. My hands are weird on that thing. Oh, look, there he is. Hey, man, what are you looking at? Oh, God! The birds! He was looking at the birds. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa! Oh! Oh my god, he got owned. Oh, dang it! He tried to save my life with his body and it didn't work. <laughs> Son of a gun. Wait a second, maybe if I go like this? Oh! Dang it! Okay, so pro tip, don't follow him. Hey man, what are you looking at? Oh, nothing, just some birds. I'm sorry. It has to be done. I'm so sorry. Okay, so we're good here. Ain't no way I'm gonna be able to stink and get- Oh my god! Hang on to the side of the wall, Spider-Man! Oh, wait a second. There we go. la da dee dee la da dee da Maybe I can just push my way backwards. la da dee dee <laughs> Hey! Hey! It was like, not today! <laughs> la da dee da Oh my god, his head got ripped off. Excuse me, sir. I'm going to ask that you please uh, back up a bit. Just go up and over. Okay. Hang on to me. Hang on. Hang on, man. What? There we go. Good enough. Up and over. Up and over. Ah. Oh my god, I just almost killed myself. Up and over. Okay, A, this whole leg, no leg thing is kind of like counterbalancing me. Oh, man, there's arrows there. I ain't going to be able to get up and over. Are you serious? Go! Go! Oh, come on. Dang it! Okay, so touching base on that whole suicide thing again. I, I'm still thinking about it, even though it's been like half an hour to an hour since I last recorded uh, the 10 a.m. episode. Um, I, too have suffered loss in my life like i have had friends that killed themselves i've had quite a few friends kill themselves i have not had anybody in my close circle of friends kill themselves i have not had anybody in my close circle of friends die nor have i had anybody in my family that was close to me die i do not know how i am going to take it if that does happen like oh wait a second can is that a win is that a, dang it. So, I will not be able to equate with what you are feeling if, say, your mom dies. I have no idea what that feels like. I don't want to know what that feels like. I love my parents. They're, it's, I'm tearing up just thinking about it. I do not want anybody in my life to, um die that I'm really close to. Oh my god, go. Oh my god, I can't. It's right there. Go. I can't, I just have to sit here like a baby with no arms and no legs. But I can um, equate to what you're feeling if you get your heart broken by someone that you are interested in. I can equate to you if you get your heart broken by someone who you've had a long relationship with. Um, I can equate to you if someone got killed in a drunk driving accident. Um, I can equate to you if one of your friends killed themselves. Um, how else can I equate to you? What else happened? I can equate to you if you move across the country and you start a life and you're just like, what? I can equate to you if you get bullied in school. I can equate to you if... I'm just trying to think of all the bad things that have happened. If you have no friends, I'm trying to equate to you guys and 
every possible way. So that way you're not thinking like, oh, Zach, his life is perfect. My, your life is what you make it. You cannot control anything. You cannot control somebody else. If somebody really, really, really wants to kill themselves, there's nothing you're going to be able to do about it. And it's sad, really. But there, there is absolutely nothing you can do about it. You can try to be their friend. You can try to talk them out of it. But if they have that mindset, which they shouldn't, because it's the stupidest mindset to have in your whole entire life, you, there's nothing you can do about it. And the same thing goes with relationships. Everybody's like, Zach, how do I make this girl like me? There is no possible way in the world that you can make somebody like you. There's no possible way in the world that you can make somebody love you. I tried for a long time. Oh, that was a front flip. That said front flip. Back flip. Oh, my God. I tried for a long time to get um, my ex to love me. And it was weird. It, it was very weird how... Uh, how she broke up with me. It was very, very awkward. It was very weird. Um, I like it was so weird that I asked if she was drugged. I was like, "Are you drugged? Did they put something in your drink?" Because it was so cold and emotionless. But whatever, I'm past it. It made me realize that uh, just things happen for a reason. So, point being is, my life has not been all fun and dandy and I think I actually get depressed when I get sick because that's why like almost all these videos are just like monotone so this is going to be our time to collectively um think about um uplifting each other like I hate seeing people argue in the comments I hate it with a passion oh I see it all the time I'm just like oh stop what are you doing commenters stop like, seriously, ball down. Oh, an R8? Can we hear an R8? Oh, snap. Bad. Why'd that say bad? Pro. Oh, look, it says pro. Nice. I want to get into the win. Win. I'm a winner. So, p please, for the love of Pete, stop fighting in the comments. It's so dumb. Like I've said before, I don't, and I think I've said it, um... Maybe I've gotten some new viewers that don't really understand it. You don't know what kind of life that person has behind the um, keyboard. They could get beat by their parents. Ooh, claustrophobia. Oh, God, I'm going to be scared. They could get beat by their parents. They could be spit on at school. They could get beat up at school. Like, you don't know what their life is about. What does that say? Oh, grinder? Let's, let's do oh, God, I hesitated. Wait. Wait. So I try to make my channel the best that it can be and make you guys n not want to fight. Like, like let's take Nova's fans, for example. I, if some of you guys watch Nova, that's I have nothing against Nova. I have nothing against his fans. It's just the attitude that he portrays. His attitude is, I would say, a not very good one. And his fans show that. So... I try to show a nice, positive, uplifting attitude, and 98% of you guys actually show it. I'm tired of hearing this loud, stupid old guy. Oh, God. Oh. Oh, jeez. Ouch! My arm popped. Oh, my leg. Never mind. I don't need that. Who cares? Wait, am I supposed to go down this? Oh, yeah, okay. We're good. So, I, I would like to be able to say... Um... Look at my army. They are stinking awesome and uplifting. Like, if someone has a really bad day, yo, guys, go help them out. Bam. Uplifting comments all the time. So, like, somebody says you're wrong in the comments. Like, why are you are? Instead of why are you are E. I don't want to see people say, it's your idiot. Or it's your beep. Like, that's not helping <laughs> anything i don't know why you guys say stuff and the people that say first oh my god that's what you're the the responses to the person that's saying first makes me more sad than the person that says first who cares if they say first maybe it's a person in a wheelchair that can't get to run a freaking relay race and they can't win first ever and that's the first time they ever won anything Maybe they like my videos so much, they're just like, oh my god, I can't believe that I'm actually first. I've seen people with, like, complete joy just get trodden on because everybody's just like, shut up, idiot! It's not first, you're a loser!
Like, I don't understand why you guys just berate the person that got first. I think I should probably be Pogo guy. Like, I know that this is going to be like a, a depressing video with not many voices and stuff. But sometimes people need guidance. <laughs> and I'm not yelling at you guys. I'm not saying, oh my god, don't watch my videos if you can't be nice. Like, you're you. Don't let anybody change who you are. But if you're the kind of person that yells at people for trying to be happy about something and trying to be first you need a change that's not that i hope that's not the kind of person that you want to be for the rest of your life what a nice view doink oh god oh i didn't want to come down here with you dang it let me just let me just i want to get out let me just get out this way but uh but yeah if if you guys have um any problems i know that i've gotten a lot of relationship problems like a lot of relationship problem advice i can help oh no Oh, dang it. Oh, God, crazy old man, come with me. Oh. Like, I can relate to you on a lot of things. Growing up, I was a friendless child. Let's just put it, let's just put it like that. I had to beg people to be my friend, which is weird, but whatever. It made me value the value, I guess, of friendship. Like, I had... My circle of friends has always been sh small. Like, my circle of friends right now is three people. Four, including Kat. But the way I see friends is people that I would go to great, 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 great lengths for. Now, there's acquaintances. But acquaintances mm, don't really matter. They're just people that I can hang out with, blah, blah, blah. Now, friends are people that I'm just like, I'm here for you day or night, whatever. Oh, 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 God! That's not nice. Are you serious? Why in the heck can I not get, get through this stupid level? And if you don't have a lot of friends, that's totally fine. Do not think that you have to have a lot of friends to be cool. Because it's... It's, no, it's not like that at all. Like, I was talking to some kid the other day on uh, my server, my Minecraft server. And he said something along the lines of... God, I hate getting freaking stuck down here. Stop it, you scrub. I don't even think I can get up out of here. Let me go. Up. Oh, dude, I can totally make it. I was talking to some kid, and he said something. I cannot remember what it was, but it was something along the lines of, I need to do, oh, I need to have friends in order to be cool. I think that's what it was. And I was like, dude, are you serious? The people that you want to be friends with are the people that, say yolo like why would why <laughs> and i know some of you guys don't understand this but when you get older you're going to realize that most of the stuff that you are worrying about right now i'm not saying all of it 97 percent of the stuff that you are worrying about right now is not going to matter at all just relish in the fact that you're a kid and you can hang out and do stuff because when you get to be an adult you may think, oh, I want a job and I want to be able to shave and I want... You don't. <laughs> Trust me. Enjoy what you have right now, please. Because I didn't. And I was like, woo. And I think every single kid does the whole, oh my God, I can't wait to do this. I can't wait to get a job. I can't wait to drive. Unless you have super, super nice parents and you're driving, you... Oh my god, I'm awesome. You have to pay insurance. You have to buy the car. You have to <laughs> you have to obey the laws of the road. You have to obey the curfew if there is one where you live. There's a lot of stuff that comes along with driving. If you're a guy and you go, I can't wait to shave your face. Things that come along with that are freaking razor burn. Your face breaking out because you have ingrown hairs. Dull razors. You have to buy razors. If you don't shave a couple days you look scruffy like there is a lot of stuff that attaches to the things that you guys think are cool that's totally not even important at all i really wish i would have been like oh i'm a kid let me stink and enjoy this and and i did like right when i got my four-wheeler <laughs> like i got a quad and i was like heck yeah and i was out all the time riding my four-wheeler my mom hated it because she thought i was gonna kill myself it didn't help for the fact that my dad said that i hit a moose and I died once. She freaked out. I think my mom's like super paranoid about me. Like 
super, 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 super paranoid about me. Like, I do something. She hears, she's the kind of mom that hears sirens and calls me and says, oh my god, are you okay? That's the kind of mom I have. And it's awesome. Because I know that she cares about me. But sometimes it gets a little too much. But you need to realize to not take that for granted. Oh, son of a god. I just exploded. See? Mom, where are you now? Oh, sweet. I won. Rock on. So, long story short. Do not try to grow up too fast. I see dumb girls wearing stupid things that they shouldn't even be wearing. Maybe it's because I'm old school. Whatever. But honestly, I severely, severely dislike my generation and the one after that. I'm not going to say hate, because hate is a very, very strong word. Hate, to me, means that you want them to die. But, like, if you take the word hate in, like, two notches before that, that's about where I stand with my generation the next one. Like, that's why I posted on my Facebook the 90s were, like, the best years ever. The 80s and 90s were, like, the best ever and I started crying when I was listening to music from the freaking 80s and 90s because I was like god I miss those years where you didn't have to worry about stuff now it's so st kids are cutting themselves for Justin Bieber <sighs> I'm seeing Facebook statuses about kids drinking and doing drugs and going out and back talking their parents and I'm very old fat I'm a 25 year old male I'm not exactly on the whole oh I'm young and all this other stuff but I am old enough to be like, good God, <laughs> what is wrong with today's children? Some kids today, I would like to just haul off and smack in the face. Take it slow. Well, I can't take it slow if you have. Oh, God. Oh, there we go. Bye, Timmy. Hey, what up? Nice. So, and I hate the fact that this is kind of like a Debbie Downer video. And you guys are like, Zach, I came here to laugh and all this other stuff. But if you have parents that don't care about you i'm gonna go ahead and just put this bluntly like you can think what you want about it if you have parents that don't care about you i kind of want to give you guys the life lessons that'll help you out like if you say my parents don't didn't sit down and talk to me about anything i want to be the kind of person to where you guys say oh zach i didn't know that thanks for helping teach me life lessons i've gotten a lot of messages about people saying zach do more life lessons so I'm going to try, I want to try to prepare you guys. Or if your parents do care about you and they do talk to you, I want to add to that knowledge. I'm not some crazy old grandpa that has crazy awesome life stories. I'm just telling you what I've been through. Life is horrible and then you die. Like that is not, unless you, like, like, that's the, the whole adage is life stinks and then you die. And that's true to a point. Because you have to pay bills and you have to do all this other stuff. But if you're responsible and you can handle it, life is freaking awesome. I do not want to die because I love living. Like, honestly, it's so fun because there's so much stuff that you can do. Oh, sweet. Fruit Ninja that all day. There's so much stuff that you can do. Like, people that are like, oh, I'm bored. Da, 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 da. Just find something to do. Dude, my body is separated. I look like, what's his name on South Park? I look like that baby. And it, not Kyle. Ike. I look like Ike. Blah, 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 blah. Oh, my whole body thing. So I, I honestly want to give you guys life tips. And if you guys have um, things, I need to do another Q&A with AK or whatever. q and AK. I need to do another one of those. So if you guys have life questions that you want to ask, um, I would love to answer them. So go ahead and put them in the comments. If you guys have something. Sorry that I didn't really play that much. But this has been on my um, mind for about 30 minutes because I'm sick. And I get into like a really, really deep, thoughtful, life-pondering mode when I'm sick. Maybe that's why I'm sick. I don't know. Maybe somebody needs to hear this. So, yeah, I don't really know what else to say after all of that. But just don't take life for granted. And do not take life for, do not take other people in your life for granted. Because you do not know how long you're going to be here. I died with one stupid shot to the freaking head. Yeah, aw, oh, dang it. Please be awesome, please be awesome. Oh, I missed it by like a little bit. Son of a gun. I'm going to get it right here. This is how it's going to go down. Oh, jeez. 
on. Oh, dang it. That was depressing. Hang on, Timmy. I shall shield you, my son. I shall shield you from everything. Keep going. Oh, God. Timmy, hang on to my neck. Hang on to it. Hang on. You're not hanging on. Oh, God. I got shot in the throat. Hey, man, you're talking. You're talking gibberish, you crazy man. You're cra Oh, Timmy, let's let go and win. Timmy, please win. Oh, my God. He got obliterated. <laughs> oh, oh, my God. Oh, there's part of his body. Timmy. Timmy, no! So, I want you guys to enjoy life. Honestly, don't be stupid. Please don't be stupid. Hold on, let me restart this. And let me let Timmy go. Hang on there, Timbo. Off you go. And then I'm going to go right to here. Timmy, are you still on? Yes! Okay, so now we have two people going. What up? Go, Timmy. See, Timmy's at the bottom. And there, go Timmy, go Timmy. Hey Timmy, oh Timmy, go Timmy. Timmy, you better hang on, son. You're only like ten pounds. Woo! Just have fun in your life. Don't let stuff get you down. I taught, I told this to somebody who was. I told this to somebody the other day. If they don't pay your bills, don't take their opinion to heart. Like, let's say you go to school. Somebody says, "Oh, good God, you look really dumb with those glasses." Oh God, I flew. We both flew. Run, Timmy. Oh, he missed. Maybe I won't. Uh, 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 uh. Dang it! Son of a gun. If somebody says, oh, you look really stupid in those glasses. Ah, four eyes, blah, 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 blah. Who cares? Just say, yeah, I know. I look really stupid. And then punch him in the mouth. No, I'm just kidding. Don't do that. But honestly, who cares? I've been called a lot of things in my life. And none of it really mattered to me. Because they have no effect on my life other than what I'm going to give them. If... If they say, hey, stupid, nice glasses, whatever, and you make them run your life, basically, and you're in depressed day and all this other stuff, that's your own fault. There is nothing they can do to you to hurt you if you don't let them. If they say, hey, stupid, nice glasses, you're like, thanks. High five them and then walk off. Like, I think that a lot of people today are too thin-skinned. Like, just let it roll off your back. Honestly. I, I get tired of reading depressing messages because people are like zach this this happened to me at school today and i don't know how to take it just let it roll off your back just ignore them like i i don't know what other advice else to give other than that just who cares if they're not paying your bills if they're not living with you it's it's honestly doesn't really matter and if they are living with you then find new living arrangements unless it's your parents then that's kind of messed up Oh my god, I'm going to be stuck in this perpetual motion. Oh god. Stop! Get me out! Change character. We're done with this business. Got this guy. So, that's pretty much my whole rant. I know that I this video is like 33... Good freaking god. I know that this video is like 33 minutes long or something. But I feel like it needed to be said. Because I feel like this generation... My generation and your guys' generation, the younger generation is a generation that is hurting either for attention hence why everybody's trying to troll everybody and everybody's just being mean to everybody or it's a generation of just really really mean bad people oh my god i knew my head was gonna get ripped off i knew it i stinking knew it so i'm sorry for talking to you guys ear off but when i get sick i get into like deep thoughtful depression mode so, I'm sorry. <laughs> Honestly, I am. But the final tip that I'm going to leave uh, you today is try to be a better person. If somebody needs help, help them. Honestly, quit fighting in the comments. I'm going to smack the junk out of all of you. Violence solves everything. But, uh, yeah, as of right now, it looks like our time is up. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Leave a comment down below whatever you are thinking. And I will see you guys next time. Peace.